Same things that make you laugh, make you cry. Ryan Garcia does not know when to shut it off. Ryan Garcia and some now questionable comments, controversial comments ahead of his upcoming fight, 420. Roll the clip. I'm not going to speak on a situation I'm not fully educated about. Why would I talk about George Floyd or Kanye West or Candace Owens or however she want to frame it if I don't have full ed I'm not educated on the matter. I don't know if he really did die by the knee or he didn't. And I'm not going to say I'm not going to sit here and claim a certain thing that I have no clue about. So nobody's going to try to twist the narrative like I'm anti-black. I'm Ryan Garcia and I love God and that's it. It's like these athletes just don't learn. It's sounding real Pauli Malinaji ish Why is Ryan Garcia talking about George Floyd? Out of all the Floyds, you could be talking about Floyd Sr. Pop, pop, pop. Floyd Mayweather. Hard work, dedication. But instead, you choose to do a X spaces and talk about George Floyd and the details surrounding his death. The incident itself happened the pandemic year in 2020, and we're now in 2024. Why even talk about this ahead of a fight with a black person? And he's like, oh, I'm not anti-black, things of that sort. It's just, it's a weird move from Ryan Garcia. And he goes on to say some other things, which stay tuned to the end of the video. I'll also let you listen to that from the spaces. I just personally feel it is such a weird subject matter for him to he says he's not educated on the situation. Why are you talking about it then? You know, one way or another. And it's like Ryan Garcia can't help himself. That's why I said same things that make you laugh, make you cry. And his brain seems polluted. And he just seems like he's destined to talk about things that in today's society are going to be considered controversial. And it's a very slippery slope. But listen to what else he had to say in this second portion. Roll the clip. Racist, if I was racist, then why would I have black people on my team? If you're actually a true racist, you wouldn't you wouldn't be around black people and you would not you would not hire them. You just wouldn't do it because you're that racist. That's the truth. And then again, I get it. People can try to act like, oh, you're cat. What Ryan Garcia just said is cap. And I, I hate when people try to expound upon things that they really don't know what they're talking about. So his whole argument is a straw man argument, which states, why do I have black people on my team? Right? Like I have a black bouncer or a black security guard. Why would I do that? Why would I pay a black person if I am truly racist, which makes absolutely no sense. So Lethal Weapon star Mel Gibson has a famous series, Lethal Weapon, and he said the N-word on tape, but Danny Glover is his co-star for four films or whatever, right? So he has a whole franchise with the black actor, Danny Glover, but respect for Danny Glover or their friendship or whatever didn't prevent Mel Gibson in those leaked tapes from saying the N-word, right? That's just one example. I could take it further back than that. So we'll take it back to the times of slavery. It is well documented. Oftentimes you would see slave owners, AKA Massa, and they would have intimacy, fornicate with some of the slaves, right? I believe Thomas Jefferson is one that had kids with a slave. Look it up. So using Ryan Garcia's logic how come slave owners such as thomas jefferson were okay and had over 200 slaves in you know the course of it but he had at least six children from a slave you know what i mean like that doesn't that's like when people say oh i how could i be racist i have a black friend and you look at the black friend and some goofy emo dude you know what i mean like that doesn't prove anything or i could do this all day because i'm well versed in what i'm talking about you look at the Clippers, Donald Sterling, and that whole controversy. He had a whole team full of blacks, right? So how has he owned the Clippers in LA and the whole team is black? His girlfriend was black. 
you know, or at least one of his girlfriends. And she's the one that released the tapes. So how are these things existing if, oh, I, how could I be racist? And I'm not saying that Ryan Garcia is racist, but as I stated earlier, I'm going, this argument is stupid. And to me, it seems like Ryan Garcia, especially fighting a black American fighter and Devin Haney, your pop said the nappy head comment and stuff like that. It seemed like he would be advised to just shut up and focus on the fight. The more he talks about other controversial issues and, you know, political issues and things like that, I think the more it hurts this fight. Hey guys, uh, just wanted to come out and uh, tell you guys that I'm banned till uh, the 28th uh, on TikTok going live. So I won't be going live uh, at least for six days. So sorry. It's not even my fault, but whatever. But I'll be going live on Instagram. So go follow me on Instagram right now at King Ryan. Um, I'll be going live with uh, the Nickelodeon star that I'm not going to name yet. And uh, yeah, we'll be going live to talk about everything that he went through. And uh, his story is untold. So we're going to tell it. See you guys there. I'm, oh, you think I'm loud now? Oh, you think I'm loud now? But the Lord's will be done, not mine. You think I'm loud now? You got something really, you got something special for you after 420. You guys must be out of your mind, bro. Mine. I just finished 12 rounds of sparring Saturday and putting this damn work. About to run, about to run eight miles. <laughs> I'm a fuck. Oh, man. I'm going to get down. Don't worry. For I was going to go down. We'll see, who, we'll see who's laughing then. We for sure we're going to see who's not laughing. $45 million at 25. Keep Haney. Haney going to get destroyed. Haney going to get destroyed. Destroyed. Guaranteed. Guaranteed. The future is now. The Hibernation Fives by Kenichi Bear. Hybrid gaming and lifestyle headphones. Out of the box, you can connect to any console or PC. Bluetooth ready with a low latency USB adapter, color RGB, and extreme bass mode. The Hibernation Fives adjust to you. Whether you need a gaming, travel, gym, or lifestyle headphones, the Hibernations got you covered. The new Hibernation Fives, link in the description. Customize the way you hear the world. Welcome to the nation.